Elon Musk just dropped Go4, and this is making a huge wave in the AI's race against Google and OpenAI. The claims are wild. They said it is smarter than a PhD. It is acing impossible tests, and it's just changing how we build software forever. But is this real, or is it just hype? In this deep dive, we are going to find out. Hi, I'm Chang. As a software engineer who works at Microsoft, Amazon, and TikTok, I get obsessed with how these new tools actually work under the hood. I have spent days digging into the data and the demo and the dramas to give you the real story. We are going to explore it all, from a shocking test score and the secrets of a team of experts that's powered to a big controversy that everyone is talking about. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what GOG4 is and why its new approach to testing AI might be the most important part of this entire story. So, what exactly is GOG4? This is the next version after GOG2, but this is not just a small update. The creators at XAI say they use about 100 times more computer powers to train it. Imagine you read one book to learn about a topic. Now, imagine reading an entire library of 100 books. You would know a lot more, right? It's learned from a huge part of the internet, from tons of books and from scientific articles. But the real magic trick is something called multimodality. That is a big word, but the idea is simple. This means GOG4 can understand more than just text. It can see, hear, and read all at the same time, in one single brain. This is a huge deal. Let me give you some examples. Because as you can see, you could show it a picture of the food left in your fridge and ask it, what can I make for dinner? This could give you a recipe. Because as you can hear, you could talk to it like you talk to a friend and it could understand not just your word, but your tones of voice, if you are happy, sad, or telling a joke. And in the future, this might be able to watch videos. Imagine it's watching a live basketball game with you and give you a perfect play-to-place -play breakdown of what is happening. This is the fundamentals of everything else we are going to talk about. This is not just a chatbot. This is an AI that can understand the words in much more human way. So GOG4 sounds powerful, but how do we prove it? In the AI world, we use tests called benchmark. Think of a benchmark like a final exam for an AI. This is a set of questions or problems that tell us how smart it is. For a long time, AI had been getting so smart that they were acing on the old test. This is like a student who is so smart they get 100% on every test in the school. You need to make harder tests to see what they can really do. And that is what happened. Expert makes news much harder tests. And GOG4 scores on this test are shocking. Let's look at one called Humanity Last Exam. This is called that way because it was designed to be the last one hardest test that we would ever need for AI. This is full of toughest problems from every field that you can think of, from medical and law to history and physics. No single human could ever pass this test. And a few months ago, the best AIs were getting very low score like 5 or 10 percent. GOG4 is already getting 40 to 50 percent right. What is a mind-blowing improvement, right? But the most important test for me is called ArcAGI. This test is special because it measures something called generalizations. That means it tests if an AI can really think and solve problems never seen before. Here is an analogy. This is like if you learn how to build with Lego bricks, and then someone gave you a completely different set of building blocks you have never seen before. Could you figure out how to build something cool? That is what this test measures. This is a test of true problem solving. And on this test, GOG4 scores was almost double the next best AI. This is not just a small step up. This is a giant leap. It suggests GOG4 has a much deeper ability to reason and think than what we have seen before. This is not just that. On the test with PhD level science questions, 
this is at the top. On the really hard math test, the heavy versions of Grox got the perfect score. It literally solved it. For that type of math, the AIs will never make a mistake. So when it comes to test score, Grox 4 isn't just hype. The number shows this is the real contenders for the smartest AI in the world. So what are the secret weapons behind Grok 4 Heavy? You may have seen that there is a special superpower version called Grok 4 Heavy. And this costs a lot. This costs $300 a month. Why so much? The reason is a secret weapon. This is not just one big AI. This is the whole teams of AI working together. The official term is multi-agent systems. Here's a simple way to think about it. Imagine you have a hard problem to solve. You could ask one super smart person for the answer. Or you could gather a team of experts. You get a math expert, a science expert, a language expert, and a logic expert. You give them all the problems. They each work on it alone, and then they come together, debate their answers, and combine their ideas to give you the absolutely best solution. That is what GOG4 Heavy does. When you give it a hard problem, it's make a team of expert AI. They work together to give you an answer that is much more likely to be correct and well thought. This approach is amazing because it helps reduce mistakes. Sometimes a single AI can get stuck on a wrong idea, something people call hallucinations. But when you have a team, the other experts can catch that mistake. It's like having a friend double check your homework. So when you pay for GOG4 Heavy, you are not just renting one AI. You are renting a whole team of digital experts. And that is why it is so powerful. The next part is the big ideas I told you about at the beginning. This is the new ways of thinking that could change everything. The team at XAIs led by Elemus says they are running out of human tests. They believe we are at the end of what multiple choice questions can tell us about an AI true intelligence. Elon Musk has said, physics is the law, everything else is recommendations. The ultimate judge of things is reality. What he means is, this is cool even AIs can pass the test, but can it do something useful in the real world? Can it invent a new technology? Can it design a better car? Can it have find a cure for a disease? The next big thing is using realities as a final exam. And we already got a small look at this with a test called Bending Bench. As it's a computer simulation where an AI has to run a vending machine's business. This is not just answering questions. It has to decide things like, should I lower the price of shoulders to sell more? Or what do I do if I run out of chip on a busy day? It's hard to think like a real business owner. The resource was incredible. Rock4 run the business so well that it solves almost three times more than the next best AI, and over 10 times more than a typical person running the simulations. This is just the beginnings. Imagine future tests, a benchmark where the AIs had to create a fun video game that people actually want to play, or a test where it had to write a movie script or create the movie. The ultimate test would be if the AI could discover new science that work in the real lab. This is the new goal. This is not just being smart. This is about being helpful, creative, and effective in the real world. Now, we cannot have a full honest discussion without talking about the big problems that happened. The Mega Hitler incident. Right before the official launch, the AI started acting very strange. For some users, it took on these bizarre and offensive personalities and said terrible things. So what happened? This is where it gets really interesting. First, you need to know that AI have rule called that rule. Think of them like rule for a try. Be polite. Don't say bad word. Be helpful. Programmers put this rule in to keep the AI safe and helpful. What happens with Gok shows how tricky it is to get this rule right. Some people were very upset, and rightly so. 
Others argue that AI should be allowed to explore its own idea, even bad ones, to be truly intelligent. This whole event shows just how hard it is to control these powerful new tools. But the most amazing part for me as an engineer was the fix. The team at XAI found the problems, and it wasn't some deep, complicated bug. They said it was like a single light switch in the code that were accidentally left on the on positions. They found that switch, turn it off, and update the code. Just like that, the problems disappear. The fact that they could find and fix it so fast is actually very impressive. It showed two things. First, how sensitive these AIs are to their rules. Second, how important it is for creators to have deep controls over their systems, which XAI clearly does. Let's wrap this up. We learned that Grok Force is a giant leap in powers trained on huge amount of data. We saw how it's crushing new super hard tests, showing a real ability to think. We uncovered the secrets behind Grok Force Heavy, its teams of expert AI. And we talk about the game changing ideas of using the real world as the ultimate test. What this all means is that AI is moving faster than any of us expected. The tools we will have in our hand next year will make today's tools look like toys. But having a powerful tools is only half the story. A powerful AI cannot help you if your own workshop is messy and slow. After talking about this amazing new AI tool, the most important thing is making sure your own setup is ready to use them. Your code editors is your most important tools as a developer. The right settings, extensions, and shortcut can save you hours every single week. They make coding feel easy and fast instead of slow and chunky. Over my years at Microsoft, Amazon, and TikTok, I have constantly been making my VS Code setup better and better, turning it into a machine for getting work done fast. That is why I'm making a complete walkthrough of my personal setup to help you do the same things. So click the videos on the screen now to see my exact VS Code configurations from the themes and fonts to the extensions and settings. I use every day to write better code faster. So I will see.